My gosh, you guys are lucky to have me. At assholeconsulting.com, we're about the only consulting company that gives you the straight boot up your ass. <clears throat> you don't need America. You don't need your dick sucked anymore. What you need is your ass kicked. But don't worry. I'm sure this $3 trillion we just printed off, everything will be fine. Fine. Aaron, what's the truth? Uh, America should stop being pussies and go get the disease if they want it. They're not. Or whether it's not their choice. Quit being cowards. Quit being spineless pussies. Go out, live your fucking life, and stop destroying the economy. And some of you die. Some of you don't. We ready? Break. I'm going to call the everybody open the fucking business plan. All right, Charlie, you go on the right and, and then hook left. All right, Frank, you go straight down the middle. And I'm going to pump it to him in a fake. I'm going to hand off to Billy, and I'm going to hand off to Walter. Walter, I want you to throw for the end zone. Look for Charlie. All right? On three. Three. Break! Speaking of destroying the economy, I, I do not think I can really ever fully explain and convey how much I hate inept bosses. And it's not so much inept bosses, but always with ineptitude comes arrogance and cockiness and lying and deceit. And I remember some bosses. Oh, I remember some bosses. One died. One died of natural causes. He got out from my grasp. But I'll never forget bosses because they're fucking tyrants. They're fucking lying sack of shit tyrants. And uh, there's got to be some justice. Got to be some justice. So not th I'm never I'm not advocating you do something. Everything I recommend is, is legal. But you just keep a nice little list of all the bosses that fucked you over. Another Aaron writes, dear Aaron, <clears throat> please be discreet, discreet as my description as I'm very unique. He is a guy. He works at a field. He has a legit degree, and he's been working at a job for some time. Started this company from the bottom. I worked my way up to a position that's higher than when he started at the bottom. Uh, I know this sounds strange, but in this world, he was one of uh, eight employees that had that specific educational background. Am I being vague enough for you? <clears throat> he leads a team of other people, and they were they were the guys. Uh, how do I? He leads a team of guys and gals, uh, and they they take care of the problems and implementation of the product. So they were responsible for implementation, testing, you know, streamlining, everything like that, support, all that. <clears throat> In any event, my former boss, who I actually enjoyed working for and respected, quit almost two years ago. And I was put under uh, his boss. So he took his boss's place, I guess. Uh, needless to say, I was not thrilled. since. Yeah, so now he's management. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're royalty now. Since then, has been one roller coaster ride after the next at my organization with more departures and questionable leadership changes. This includes multiple reorganizations <clears throat> over the course of two years. My current, that's a bad sign. That is very, very, very bad. That's like, get the fuck out of there. That's like rats are fleeing the ship. Like, ah, if it's good enough for the rats, it's good enough for me. My current dilemma has to do with the implementation of a new system which I know little about him having to rely on the internet to get any usable information. I have no issue whatsoever when it comes to doing the work, even though it has nothing to do with what I was hired to do. My problem is that the people running the show are completely worthless. The first one is my boss who isn't brain dead, but won't really take the time to learn what he's doing. Yes, that's called Boomer. Does he have gray hair? Does he have gray hair? I'm, I, I know we shouldn't be picking on boomers, but we should be picking on boomers because most of them are pieces of shit. Uh, but I am fully aware this could be a Gen X douchebag too. Um, power corrupts people. And I could see the, the Gen X boss. I don't have time to learn Excel, although they learn Excel. I don't have time to learn new stuff. <clears throat> the second is the fuck who just showed up here last year, stole my entire job of this, stole some of my key employees under me, actually got... Stole your future talent. So there was like a draft going on. He stole your future talent. 
he also comes from a STEM background and is supposed to know this stuff and has the owner ear, owner's ear from what I can only conclude are lies. Not only that, but he has the nerve to think he is my boss sometimes, which I outright ignore, as do my current team members. Good. I had a guy who didn't know that the line went across, not above. And and uh, he's doing poorly now, too. Sometimes I keep another list of, you're not my boss, but you're a dickhead. You're a dickhead. And uh, this guy has a hot wife. That's the, <laughs> I'm thinking like, <laughs> <clears throat> he's a douche, uh, but he's a loser. That's the other thing. He he has never recovered um, from that entire bank going under. <clears throat> ba -ba -da -ba uh, both of these guys are in their mid fifties. Okay, young boomers, uh, young boomers, old Xers. And I find them to be inadequate, insufferable to some extent, inept. I'm tired of them asking me to do things they should know themselves and hire someone else to do or at least be able to hold a conversation with me about this system with out saying a basic term, even I know what it is, like I don't know what the fuck it means. I'm about done with the bullshit. Everyone else at the company still knows what the deal is. Everyone else still comes to me for assistant on the large uh, jobs. I just don't know what to do at this point. I'm fairly certain the owner is scared that I might leave, but does very little to make these bad actors cease. Uh, I have a family, <clears throat> so any options outside of quitting until I get a good side business going anyway it would be most appreciated. I have been watching you for a while now, but I had two meetings that just pissed me off so much. I got another da 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 da. Okay, I said. Or any of these new bosses or new people related to the higher ups? Any nepotism or cronyism? And how is the company doing financially? What about contracting your contacting your old boss and asking him why he left? Heck, finding out if he's got a job. <clears throat> While nepotism, friendships mostly is alive and well here, the guys are just running on the experience train. The owner is about a decade older than me, so he thinks that carries weight for some reason. Well, he's also the owner. Funny you bring up finances. My grandpa has been asking me to dig up everything I can on it, even though I only have. I don't know what that means. What I can tell you, though, is. Oh, I see. Your, uh, your finances of the company. What I can tell you, though, is that we make so much that in time, in the time I've been here, we have only fired one to two people for errand spending on company cards. And only in the past four months started to turn, started them off. Huh? Are you not? They're not doing bad financially. Then there are claims that we only make a percentage of profits after all costs, including you know, but it's hard to believe. Well, no, that's that's true. Everybody makes a percent of profit um, after all costs. Regardless, it's not my fault. The executive managers think they're important. We'll drop big money on business dinners. Okay, we spend more. Okay, maybe maybe it. it what you're saying is. People are pissing away a lot of money on travel and entertainment and a lot of pet projects, none of which. It, it sounds like, again, we don't know, but it sounds like dude bros. Maybe they got some financing and they're like, I'm going to run a business. And this has been their dream to run a business. It's about running the business, not getting a profit, which doesn't work because if you run out of money, you can't pay your employees. Well, then you, <clears throat> you don't have a business. I've been in contact with most of the people who have quit to gain their understanding of what's going on and why they quit. They all paint about the same ugly picture and just reached a point where they had enough. Some had a plan and others just took a night to think about it and sent an email resignation with no firm plan in place. That's how bad it is for some. All right, you have a toxic environment. I think the biggest thing is the lack of respect for the top down. This just might be another iteration of that. Had another call today where I thought maybe I could give them one more chance and realize you could solve the problem in a 10 minute search. They would rather lie and cover it up. I have nothing. I have an old house. I need to rent out. Huh? Okay. All right. Here's here's what you're gonna do. Um, I, it's <laughs> you gotta apply for another job. I don't know how long you've been listening to, to the videos and podcasts or, you know, maybe get, 
I hate to keep going to it, but I write what's important in Jermaine. Get this book. You don't have to read the whole thing. It's topical. You, you choose it, but go into career. Read the chapter about the career. You, you have two real jobs until you get self-employed. And the real job, uh, the two real jobs you have is, is your daytime one that you work, and then you're always applying for another job. At minimum, you get a recruiter say, I always want to know what's out there. I always want to know what's on the market. And if a better deal comes along and you say, I need X amount of money. I want to work from home. Here's the, don't call me unless it's that money or more. And we'll, uh, and then we'll, you know, keep, keep me posted, <clears throat> but you, you got to find another job. Now, if you're a single guy and you had six months savings saved up, you could tell him to fuck off and pound sand, but you got a family. What you can do is go talk to the wife, do some number crunching, look at your budget and see if you can get by without it. Can you live off of her income? Can you live off of savings for six months? Then I'd throw in your, your two weeks resignation. But even then I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd still go find a job. You guys spend time finding it. And I, you know what? I didn't do that all the time. I'd wait until I realized, oh, this job is bullshit. And they lied to me. Uh, you know, it'd still take a month or two, but that's what you got to do. You got to look for another job. So go find another job. Go contact a recruiter. It's going to suck now because of uh, uh, the great and merciful Corona chant. And then your third job is that you should have been doing a side business for a while now. They, it just doesn't happen like that. Uh, I know I'm asshole consulting. I created overnight the website and everything. I did it on one security shift, but I had built up over by that time a decade of a fan base and writing and building reputation on the internet. So, ah, look at what this funny guy's done, you know, ha, ha, ha. So it, it takes time. But when you can't go in all, now now the shit hits the fan at work. Oh, I better, oh, what do I do now? Well, I guess you better find a job. So, and, and then when you find a new job and you leave this job or you start a new, go look for another one. So and there's nothing really to, Nothing really to say aside from you got you're gonna have to find another job. <clears throat> uh, if it doesn't have to be that that much of a high paying job, this is why you gotta do do your finances. Talk to your wife. Hey, wife, if I drop down to delivering Uber Eats or a security guard gig, something that you don't need, you know, because I imagine at your level you're gonna need to apply for multiple jobs. It's gonna be a month or two. They have to have a paddle. <laughs> Well, if it's that bad, and trust me, your mental health is worth it, I'd say you know, go get yourself a job that could just make ends meet. Look at your family budget. What do I, I got to make $12 an hour? Okay, you go in, you give you two weeks notice, hey, I got a great job offer. And they say, where? And, I, and you could, and if you leave on good terms, you'll go to the boss. Don't quit to your boss. <clears throat> go to your boss. I, I go to his, go to the, the owner, although... I, I I think you could go to your the owner of the company and say, here's the deal. Uh, here's my two weeks. I'm quitting you because I have absolutely no respect for it. And when I list my boss, I'm going to list you as my boss. Uh, but I'll be here for two weeks cleaning up, you know, two weeks notice and all that. And, uh, you know, it's been fun, but I got another job offer. They don't have to know what. <laughs> and then and then you say, you know, if you need help, I'll consult. You know, I, I got another job offer, but I can still consult you on the side. But it's going to be $200 an hour, you know. And if I hear anything, you know, if, if it gets complicated or I guilt, got to deal with office politics, it's $300 an hour, whatever you think you could get from them. Then you go work your security guard gig. They got to email you and text you the stuff. They're, if if you're that mission critical, if you're that load bearing, the owner will be like, yeah, we need you on it. Because that, no, I, like almost it's a foregone conclusion. I'm taking this other job. But, you know, if you want some stuff on the side, fine. But I'm, I'm billing out a very high hourly rate. And there you go. And then while you're working security, you apply for another job, a real one. And, and who knows, maybe you come out better on this. Um, but yeah, I'd plot your escape and I'd be willing to take a lower paying job, any job to get the fuck out. <clears throat> but going forward, don't wait until this happens to be looking for another job. You, it's like you're dating. You're a whore. Okay. Who's paying me the most? You're going to offer more. You're going to offer more. We're going to go with you. But if I find somebody else, we're going to go with them. You better pay me a lot. Oh, you're offering more. Who's going to want to suck my dick? You're going to suck my dick. Who's going to suck my dick? You're going to suck my dick. From All right, man. There you go. All right. Questions, answers, links down below. Assholeconsulting.com. Get that book, Bachelor Pad Economics. It's worth it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.